Good morning. It is a beautiful sunny day, although it is minus 25 outside. And the house is a mess. There are boxes literally everywhere because we are moving in exactly two weeks from today and there's a lot to do a lot to pack so the house is kind of in disarray i'm so excited to show you guys like the new house too when it's all fully complete and finished with all the tiles and the backsplash and the flooring and everything's in kevin and i are so eager it's almost to the point where we like can't sleep at night because we're just so excited <laughs> But yeah, just a lot of packing. I go to Florida in five days to visit my dad. I haven't seen him since the Christmas before last, so it, it's, I'm really excited. I mean, my dad is my best friend and I miss him. We talk on the phone every day, but I just miss seeing him in person. So I'm going down to see him. I don't know how much vlogging I will do or anything like that just because Whenever I'm with him, I always try to be the most present I possibly can and put all distractions away. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, tons of packing. That's it, that is the update this week. That's it, that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching guys, bye. I've been having a really strong aversion to coffee. I actually won't even let Kevin make it in the house because I can't even stand the smell of it. In the mornings, I like to have a nice warm beverage. So I've actually opted for a matcha latte and I make this one from Peak. It's the Sun Goddess Matcha and it's incredible. It is so good and smooth and silky and they come in like these prepackaged little satchels and it's organic, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, it's vegan and I love it. I think it's so tasty. So I'm going to show you exactly how I make it in case you wanna make your own. Boxes upon boxes were slowly emptying the house, taking down all the stuff. I cleared out like all the shelving and everything like that. So we have tons of boxes over here, tons downstairs. And I am also almost 15 weeks. I think I'm 15 weeks in two, three days. So belly is coming along. I did a little bump update, my first one on instagram so if you haven't seen that you can go check it out and oh my god oh my god um i don't know why i didn't lead off with this like this is so exciting for the first time last night laying in bed i felt baby kick i felt baby kick it was internal you wouldn't be able to obviously see from the outside i don't even know if you could like put a hand on and feel but i felt it inside and it was just this little like like so hard to explain i i don't know how to explain it but it was so exciting and then i felt once more this morning actually when i was laying in bed so ah, it just feels so real it's just so exciting oh i'm gonna start crying again okay i gotta stop slow down you're doing just fine you can't be everything you want that song has been in my head all day. I'm just about to make myself some lunch. We had a really, really hectic morning. And life is just really, really busy right now and it's stressing me out. I considered changing my flights from going to see my dad to a later date. Now I'm about to eat lunch. And then I'm making some whole wheat blueberry muffins because I like muffins. Well, my mini muffins are looking a little rough and I had to make mini muffins rather than regular sized ones, which kind of threw things off a bit because somebody, I know exactly who it was, <laughs> took my regular size muffin tray. So I only had these little mini ones left. And you're never far, are you? Whenever there's food coming out, you're right next to mom. What are you doing? 
this is going to be our last vlog in this house. I know, you did a really good job of packing everything. Thank you. Well, yeah, bring home more boxes. I didn't, I didn't pack quite everything, but it's a total mess. Let's go outside. Oh, she just, she wants to come in now. <laughs> I got the incense going yeah. in here. Surprising. That smell doesn't make you sick. The aversions to smell is kind of over. The new trees are going to love all the new space, the new house. I know. Our beloved Norfolk and fig, which is so stressed out right now since winter. My tomato plant came back to life because I put a gallon of water in it this morning. This is Kevin's one plant. <laughs> this is his plant. He is responsible for it. I want no part of it. I don't enjoy growing cherry tomatoes at all. It's my probably my least favorite thing to grow. So he said he wants to grow it. He's going to take responsibility and uh, that's your thing. None of my pants fit. I'm at that stage now where they don't fit. So, and it's too cold for cute dresses here where we live in the Arctic tundra. So leggings it is. I will be living in leggings until it warms up. You look nice. Yeah. Pregnancy stuff everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's there. You're officially showing. You look really good. Yeah. Well, hurry up. Get dressed. I am now. There you go. I gotta get a coat. Very good. How is it being able to drink and eat foods that I cannot? <sighs> How's it feel? It's nice. I'm gonna go work for it. You gotta work for it. Bang. Good girl. <laughs> Not your best, but still good. You've been killed so many times this good morning. girl. She's been shot. Good girl. Where are we going? We're going for coffee and then antiquing. How's your soup? Messy. Yeah. I got a little salad. I love this place. Look at all the greenery. So pretty in here. So I'm on the hunt for a very specific painting for our bedroom. And I want it to be vintage. So we're gonna go to this vintage store that's just along the way from here. We found this mirror and we're taking it home. It's purchase number one. It's perfect for our half bath and it looks very antique-y. And it's, I think, the perfect dimension for our half bath too. To go above the vanity. By everything fragile. <laughs> Careful. Find number two. This beautiful vase. I saw something so similar at another vintage shop. It was 200 This one's 20 bucks. <laughs> number one, little opera. And my favorite, number two. Italian romantic songs. <laughs> Happy got finds. all our stuff, yeah. Pretty good finds. Didn't find the painting we were looking for, but that's okay. No. Okay, there she is in her new home in a nice bright and sunny location next to her big sister. are saying goodbye to our current home. We've been here for eight years, almost to the day, which is crazy. Just reflecting on some memories. So what would you say is your favorite thing about this house and what are you gonna miss the most? Oh man, we got Penny in this house. would be when Penny, we got Penny and brought her home. What about you? Probably our awesome neighbors. I'm gonna miss the most. Across the street? Yeah, we have just really awesome neighbors and they've helped us out greatly. Honestly, I'm not gonna miss this house at all. 
I'm not either. So it's tough to. I'm gonna miss our neighbors. There's some nice memories, but we're not like. I'm not attached to it. Now. Yeah, we're just not. And I like for me personally, I've moved around literally my entire life. I'm not a super sentimental person who gets like attached to things like this. So I have no attachment to the house whatsoever. When I first got it, it was it was fun. I had a couple different roommates come through here. Yeah, before we lived together. Um, we were just dating at that time. Yeah. We had just begun dating, kind of. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a party house. It wasn't at all, actually, but it was just... Yeah. We threw some, some good shindigs here. Your birthday party. <laughs> Halloween party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seen a lot of different colors, that's for sure. Yeah, when you moved in, wasn't it like pink and blue walls? Yeah, pink and blue in the kitchen. Like bright pink and bright blue. This is where you started your, your vlog. This is where you it all began. This yeah, house. it is. You're right. It was just a blog and Instagram at that point. Yeah. Five or six years six years ago now. That's it for this vlog, you guys. Just uh, wanted to share some some moments in the house, and this will be the last time you see the house and us in the house. So, next vlog, we will be moving in to our new home. Woohoo! I'll be moving. Amber's pregnant. She'll be super, I'll be pointing. Supervising. This goes yeah, over there. Exactly. This goes over there. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Exciting nonetheless. Thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm.